Well, it seems like we all know someone right now who's got COVID-19. Health officials say cases have been going up for a little over a month now, which has many wondering if they need more protection against the virus. THP 11's Mercedes McKay breaks down what you need to know now. Rolly, we actually all talked about it this morning. A lot of people have had their first booster at this point and are wondering if they can get a second one. Well, turns out the CDC has changed their minds a couple of times and has caused some confusion. At one point, they expanded the qualifications for a second booster, but since then, they narrowed it back down. Things are staying pretty busy at Cavanaugh Pharmacy. I've seen it every day. I mean, every day for the last probably two to three weeks. People who have been careful the whole time and now they're testing positive. And that seems to be the case across the state. There are more people with uh, COVID-19 right now uh, in Arkansas than there were six weeks ago, for example, when it was really low. While health officials say there's no reason to panic, pharmacy owner Ann Pay says it has many wondering if they need more protection. I think a good part of our day has been trying to counsel people on what the right thing for them to do is. So what is the right thing? First off, Dr. Joel Tumlinson with the Department of Health says if you haven't gotten your first booster dose, now is the time to do it. Anyone five years and older is eligible at least five months after their second shot. Now the risk is going up, and I think it's a great time to go ahead and get your booster uh, if you're eligible and you hadn't had it yet. Dr. Tumlinson says the criteria is a little more strict for the second booster. The only people eligible for that shot are those 50 and older or anyone 12 and up who is immunocompromised. As for when eligibility could expand, Tumlinson says that's unknown. Very up in the air right now and uh, difficult to say. Both Pfizer and Moderna are talking about updated booster vaccines that would be more specific to the Omicron variant. Tumlinson says studies are still underway for those and it looks hopeful. It's the direction we need to go. Um, where eventually we don't may not need to get um, boosters every four or five months, but an updated booster looking at what is going on right now. While we wait for all that to happen, health officials say if you're worried about catching it, going back to those old habits like social distancing and masking may be a good idea. Especially over the summer, we're going to be at a lot of outdoor activities. Don't think that you can't get it from those. Being outdoors doesn't mean you're not going to get it. Now, you may have also heard about the Novavax COVID-19 vaccine, too. Health officials tell me they don't know much yet, but it is a different type of vaccine, so they believe it could be a good option for those who still haven't gotten a shot.